The egregious misuse of authority on top a U.S. lawmaker promotes changes to the Securities and Exchange Commission by citing the success of XRP and Ripple as an example. Language in French Hill often cited the Ripple case as proof in favor of SEC reform. The, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has come under more attention recently, especially in light of the laws it has passed governing the regulation of cryptocurrency houses about digital assets. The Department of Financial Services division yesterday on Capitol Hill. There was a hearing on the subjects of SEC growth and the need for change. There are growing claims that the commission has been mistreating people horribly, which is why the hearing was important. At the meeting, legislators discussed how the Securities and Exchange Commission must be reformed. During the hearing, French Hill, the head of the department in charge of financial technology and inclusion, recently expressed his displeasure with the commission. Expected the SEC's reasoning for blocking Grayscale's Bitcoin trust from converting to an exchange-traded fund. And just in the last few days, a Utah judge imposed sanctions on the SEC for, quote, bad faith conduct and open, quote, gross abuse of power, close quote, that the commission had demonstrated in a case against Dropbox. And this is important because we haven't talked about this in a long time in this committee. And as a result of that gross abuse of power. One prominent cryptocurrency enthusiast, Kyle, has posted a brief video clip from the XCX video session. At some point during the hearing, Hill said that the federal court and the general public both considered the Securities and Exchange Commission to have failed. The senator went on to describe how, despite the Securities and Exchange Commission's best efforts, um, federal judge in New York concluded that Ripple Labs, a uh, cryptocurrency payment company, had not broken any laws by offering its token, XRP, for sale on online marketplaces in July 2011. Uh, New York judge rendered a decision regarding the possibility of a federal securities law violation concerning the sale of cryptocurrency XRP developed by Ripple Labs on open markets. Hill revealed yesterday that Ripple was facing charges from the Securities and Exchange Commission for offering XRP as an unregistered security from 2013 to 20. According to a Securities and Exchange Commission judge, Ripple made over $1.3 billion from the illicit sale of XRP. It's crucial to take note of this information. Examine the Saturday. Torres concluded that the distribution of Ripple XRP and its sale on digital exchanges did not constitute an investment contract in response to the Securities and Exchange Commission's announcement. However, upon further investigation, she found that when Ripple offered and sold XRP to major financial institutions, it had not complied with securitization regulations. Under strict anonymity, the SEC is expected to submit its first remedies brief tomorrow, March 26. During the remedy phase of the case, the court will establish a timeline and use that to determine the proper punishment for this infringement. During the same period, a version that has been edited will also be made available to the general public. A three-judge court ordered the agency to evaluate Asset Management Grayscale's request to convert its Bitcoin trust into a spot market in the lawsuit that Grayscale Investments filed against the Securities and Exchange Commission. I gave this instance as an illustration. Uh, Representative Hill brought up two more cases involving Bitcoin-related violations of the Securities and an Exchange Commission by federal courts. The Securities and Exchange Commission made an argument in August of last year to keep the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust from becoming an exchange-traded fund, but the court rejected it in the context of the Bitcoin exchange-traded fund. The lawmaker brought up the recent ruling by federal judge Robert Shelby of Utah in the contentious lawsuit that had been filed against DeBatch, a cryptocurrency company, as the legislative session was coming to an end. Representative Hill was worried about the potential for the Securities and Exchange Commission to be required by the court to compensate the debt box for its legal fees. When the Securities and Exchange Commission attempted to obtain a temporary restraining order against the corporation because it possessed false information, the judge determined that the SEC was acting in bad faith. Judge Shelby penalized the Securities and Exchange Commission by ordering it to reimburse its legal expenses after ruling in favor of the debt box. He denied their plea to dismiss the case with prejudice, so the Securities and Exchange Commission is unable to revive it. He raised the point uh, that the commission would bear the cost of its own incompetence right. and exorbitant spending on public offerings due to the false information. He wanted to inform you that regarding the XRP issue. The two parties have now filed a... United sealing motion with the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. This step is being done with the primary goal of maintaining confidentiality about the cryptocurrency. This 
strategy acknowledges that there are circumstances in which secrecy is necessary, but it also offers briefings on viable solutions and a systematic procedure to address redaction and sealing issues. I, it also gives a chronological summary of all the things that have happened during Ripple and the SEC's legal fight. By employing this tactic, it has shown that everyone is committed to upholding integrity and openness. The revelation of a specific date for the filing and public dissemination of core documents is among the most significant milestones in the ongoing legal battle between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The continuing court battle has now reached a critical turning point. Times like these highlight how important it is to be honest and forthright while still understanding that some information must be redacted. On March 22, 2024, the Securities and Exchange Commission plans to file its opening remedy-related brief under seal. An extensive synopsis of Ripple's current legal timeline will be given in this report. The article will undergo a screening process to see if any sensitive material needs to be removed before it is made available to the wider audience. The groundwork for the upcoming review procedure will be laid during this first phase. This action will set the stage for potential legal action against Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission in the future, in addition to ensuring the safety of personal data through preventative measures. An unforgettable date in the annals of history is March 25, 2024. This is a big turning point because it shows that we are starting to work together to figure out what portions of the Department of State's opening brief and related files should be redacted so that the public can see as much of the important information as possible. Reducing the amount of redactions as much as feasible is one of our main goals. The fact that everyone is cooperating on this project shows how committed they are to being truthful and having productive conversations. It is projected that the Securities and Exchange Commission will release an updated, redaction-filled version of its opening brief to the public on March 26, 2024. Only the redactions that have been agreed by all parties will be included in this edition. By doing this, we can guarantee that sensitive data is appropriately secured and that the general public has access to vital information. The implementation of these procedures has resulted in an elevated degree of transparency on the present state of the proceedings. Any confidential material that may be included in the opposing brief and accompanying papers will be redacted. Even though Ripple plans to file the opposing brief and supporting files on April 22, 2024, and they will be kept in a public repository. This technique maintains a precise balance between secrecy and transparency, which is necessary given the complexity of the judicial proceedings. Maintaining the integrity of the procedures depends on this equilibrium. April 23 and 24, 2024 are the next two days that discussions and submissions regarding the redaction specific to Ripple's opposition brief and the supplementary materials are planned to occur. The goal of these discussions is to enhance the transparency measures that have been implemented thus far by talking about any issues that have not yet been addressed with sensitive security information. The deadline for submitting is May 6, 2024 when the Securities and Exchange Commission is expected to turn in its reply brief. When doing this activity, adherence to the laws governing the sharing and maintaining of secrets is planned. Any further filings and discussions relevant to this topic will center on redacted public versions of the Secretary's reply brief. 